Police are searching for a gunman in Lynn who fired shots into a barber shop. Two workers were wounded there. Jim Smith is in Lynn tonight where a woman actually tried to chase down that shooter. This was a really wild scene, and there are still a lot of questions tonight here in Lynn. The owner of this shop has run this place for years, and now he's been wounded along with one of his workers. What you chasing you know, chase them down here. Amber is Contreras in tears, still shaken up after chasing the man she says opened fire at the Lynn barbershop where she works. Two people were hurt, including a shop worker police say was grazed in the shoulder by gunfire. Shop owner Rudy Bernabel, a father of five, suffered a head injury of some type. Seconds later, Amberis gave chase. Well, I hear it, pop, 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 and the window shattered. I just ran after him. And I ran down that street. I had to. I was like, I had to see who this person was because this dude did not deserve that. All of this happening on busy Lewis Street about 1 o'clock in the afternoon, broad daylight. Boom, boom. More like a pop, pop. Yeah, yeah. pop, 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 pop. That's what I heard. I mean, I watched it. I'm sitting there in the window, and I'm looking right at it. It was, it was a scary moment. He walked across the street, positioned himself in front of the building, and shot four times. Police are hoping surveillance video leads to an arrest. Meanwhile, nobody can figure out why somebody would target this shop. But I know the owner, Rudy, is a real nice guy, and it's just really unfortunate because he literally doesn't bother anybody. He's there open to close. First thing in the morning, he's there. End of the day, he's there still cutting hair, just supporting his family. Take a look back here in Lynn. You can still see the shattered glass in front of this store. The good news is police are telling us that they do not believe that these wounds are life-threatening, but at last check, the suspect is still on the run. In Lynn, Jim Smith, WBZ News.